this week on Moving Markets. Stocks of Brajaya Corp soared further after its newly minted CEO bought a stake in the company. Two Malaysian stocks faced selling pressure on the back of a surprise sacking of the Turkish central bank governor. And two COVID-19 winners, Robinhood and Deliveroo, gear up for some of the hottest IPOs of the year. Shares of Brajaya Corp are up over 50% on a one-week basis after its new CEO Abdul Jalil Abdul Rashid bought a 1.4% stake in the company. In a social media post, he said he has always enjoyed having skin in the game. His appointment already made a splash last week since it makes him the first non-family member to lead the company. Jalil says his purpose is to undertake a transformation of Brajaya Corp. The group's shares rose about 17% the day after the news of his appointment, so it's clear that investors have high expectations of him. But we'll just have to wait and see if he delivers. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan shocked markets on Monday after firing Naji Akbal, his third central bank governor in only two years. In under five months as governor, Akbal hiked Turkey's benchmark interest rates by a jaw-dropping 875 basis points in efforts to stabilize the currency and rein in inflation, currently at nearly 16%. In fact, just last week, he raised rates by 200 basis points. But contrary to general economic principles, Erdogan believes higher interest rates actually drive inflation and higher prices. So he replaced Akbal with a new governor who holds the same unusual belief. As a result, investors sold off the lira, sending it down 15% on Monday. Two Malaysian companies have significant exposure to Turkey, Malaysia Airports Holdings or MAHB and IHH Healthcare. For MAHB, it operates Istanbul's Sabiha Gokchen International Airport, but the impact of the weakening lira is more muted as the bulk of its earnings are denominated in Euro. IHH, however, will see an impact to its earnings as Ajibadem Healthcare Group, one of Turkey's leading private healthcare providers, contributes nearly a third to its earnings. This means a decline in the lira will drag down its profits. Consequently, shares of MAHB fell 1.5%, while those of IHH fell 3.5% on Monday, though both stocks have since recovered somewhat. Capital markets are starting to pick up again, with two big IPOs slated to take place in the second quarter of the year. And both are COVID. 19 winners, Robinhood and Deliveroo. If Robinhood sounds familiar, it's the retail trading app that Reddit fueled day traders used to send shares of GameStop soaring just a few months ago. Reports say that it confidentially filed for an IPO on the Nasdaq and may be valued at roughly $12 billion. That's no small sum for a company established in 2013, which now has 13 million users. The platform is known for democratizing investing by introducing commission-free trading and allowing investors to to purchase fractions of shares. But the platform also has its critics who see it as encouraging the gamification of investing, since it may encourage amateur investors to take on risks without fully understanding the consequences. This, along with the GameStop saga, has put Robinhood under increased regulatory scrutiny in recent months. Meanwhile, across the pond, Deliveroo is likely to be London's largest IPO in a decade. The food delivery company is also eyeing a valuation of $12 billion. However, Deliveroo is not without its fair share of regulatory risks. It faces legal challenges in several markets over whether its riders can be classified as self-employed. And while there has been a boom in food delivery due to restaurant closures, it's not clear how much of that demand Deliveroo will be able to sustain once COVID-19 restrictions are eased. So we'll be watching closely to see if this loss-making company will eventually chart a path to profitability. And that's what's been moving markets.